जे पते मुक्ति मिले जे पते मुक्ति मिले डाकिले काटले गुरु ज्ञान बोले शुकिर पते से जे जाय कोले जे पते मुक्ति मिले व्याप्त चरा चरा खंद मंदल गुरु ज्ञान तर सुशीतल संपरे विपरे तर यवाय परे भक्ति पुष्पांजलि ध्याओ डेले जे पते मुक्ति मिले जीवे रुर दिने रुरंत आरहरे गुरु बिना बल के भवे निष्ठरे विषमा दुष्टरे आति शुभिष्टरे ज्ञाने रालो तिनी ध्यान ज्वले जे पते मुक्ति मिले जे पते मुक्ति मिले Oh, that if we want to walk to the path of liberation, salvation, then we have to cry out and call the name of the Guru, the spiritual master. Call, call, if you're Christian, you call the name of the Christ. Buddha, you call the name of the Buddha. And Krishna, and for me, is Pranavananda, because he would have come as the all in all but when you transcend religion all these names are the same and this morning this path here in america jamaica queens you could see how the um the weather has changed all the trees i'm standing below them all they have shed the leaves and they're um, preparing for the winter just like we will pull out the winter coat and all the thick winter garments and then we'll be preparing for winter this is life and also the same way we have to prepare for our moksha our liberation and in the say in doing so we need that spiritual master we need a, a realized soul we need a manifestation of consciousness we need a spiritual master. And for me, Bharat Seva Ashram Sheng is such an organization with Swami Panavanandaji. Let us um, call upon his name. Dhyana Moolam Guru Murti Puja Moolam Guru Param Mantra Moolam Guru Rvakyam Moksha Moolam Guru Kripa Moksha Molam Guru Kripa. Well, the vote is quite cold this morning. It's 30 degrees Fahrenheit. That makes it minus centigrade, a couple. But anyway, you dress up nicely and you come. And after a, 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 a very powerful yoga, the body is in peak performance. The heat is flowing and the energy, the spiritual energy is also coming and also the mind is a peak performance uh, Swami Pranavanji what if he would have said what are real friends energy enthusiasm and perseverance and I try to carry these three friends of mine all the time and I try to keep away from the enemy my enemy which, which is procrastination laziness lustful senses and passions and I try to uh, always be in that invigorated mood. I try not to carry this, my sins with me, weakness, fear, cowardice, and meanness. These are things I toss in the garbage and never to, re re um, to re recapture again. And when you do the process of elimination, you take away the negatives out of your life, what happened, the positives. When you go and you realize that all around you is, is God in the form of the five elements art, water, fire, air and space and I love to be in this mandir and today might be a little dark the sun didn't come out but think about it that it doesn't matter but because when you are getting the, the light of illumination from consciousness from within then everything is bright you look at everything in the same eye whether it's cold or hot 
or, or anything like that. The pairs are opposites, you minimize them. So this morning, look at this. Um, we can see the, the, the skies are showing a little brighter and we should be energized by it. You know, as I see, look, people are walking and they're enjoying themselves. The ducks are there and they are swimming in the water and they're so adaptable to it, right? Anyway, I want to um, tell you that when I speak to people, I was speaking to our Swami Pushkaranan yesterday in Canada and he's such a vibrant soul, you know, he's such an energetic, he's full of bhakti, he's a bhakti Swamiji. Devotion is his, is his path to liberation and in the same time he's, he's taking care of that ashram being. You know, and you know the best thing that for me is when I speak to brother monks. I was speaking to our Swamiji, uh, Muktatmanandaji, he was in, he left from uh, California yesterday and he'd be going back to Kolkata and um, you know, he'd be there for some time. But anyway, I was speaking to him and that exhilarated feeling, just like you when you speak to your nearest and dearest. My nearest and dearest is the Swamiji's. And devotees, they get the benefit when monks are at the peak, peak spiritual um, uh, existence because that will radiate to them. They bring the powers of Swami Pranavan and Vaji with them all over the place. You know, um, whatever happened in our lives, you know, all our experience that we have, we shouldn't go back and look at the negative ones and always recapture them and keep them in our mind and, and let them bring us down. Because I've come from realization that we, every experience brings us to the state that where we are today. And I have to say that where I am today and where you are today, you should think it's the best place that you can be. And uh, look at these ducks, how they're swimming in the cold, frigid water. But they don't mind because they're so adapted to it. So, um, so many experiences that the guru he will put you through experiences and he'll take you out. Some of them might be not so pleasant. But you know, I have come to the realization that when I think that they am having a bad experience, I just stay calm and peaceful. And my mind is totally at the thinking of the Guru, chanting the Guru Mantra. And he would have said, when we are in difficulty, every breath, every inhalation and exhalation, you call upon the name of the Guru. Because in devotees, human beings, relationships, they're all fraught with imperfections. If, you, if, if I'm imperfect and you're imperfect and we are friends or whatever, husbands or wife, whatever, brothers and sisters, whatever relationship, that relationship naturally will be in tension. In-laws and all of this thing will be in tension. So then, we have to know that we don't want to be in a continuous suffering because of this tension of imperfection. So what we should choose is to go be in a relationship with God, that whoever we, we worship as God. But make sure that if we, the God that we worship is perfection, the manifestation of per, uh, consciousness. That we shouldn't, um, we should, uh, uh, throughout my life I can remember I took initiation with a very reputable Pondiji. Then I took initiation with Swami Pranav, um, Swami Vidyanandaji. And then I took initiation with Swami um, Arupanandaji. And then Swami Akshayanandaji, Sanyas. And, but they all, when it comes down to it, Swami Pranavanandaji would have come in. And he would have, um, in the end, he would have said in that dream, no, worship me as the man unmanifested. The, 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 my worship me without name and form but the schooling was worshiping with name and form so this way I'm telling you this because you also as devotees have to lift yourself up in these times of trouble the times of COVID so many people are stressed out and they're trying to assimilate their thoughts to deal with the situation forgetting that if they go if you go and think about God worship God, surrender to Him, then all your troubles will go away. Because you remember, 
all the troubles that you have is in your mind. So if you trade your mind, this mundane mind, and you, you surrender it to your body and mind and intellect and ego, then naturally through the process of elimination, you lift yourself up. Have no fear. This is, this is the wisdom of all. This is what Bhagavad Gita, Krishna Bhagavan is telling Arjuna, 18 chapter. That Arjuna, Sarva Dharmam Parichaja, Mame Kam Sharanam Praja, Am Tam Sarva Bapepyo, Muksha Shami Masucha. That forget everything that I tell you. All your duties come to me. Let you, me be your focus. He wasn't talking about himself in the, in the murti holding the flute and sometimes rather next to him. He was talking about his, his higher nature. That's the nature of consciousness. So we have to lift ourselves to that and then you'll see the suffering. Today I bring you that power. Sorry, Pranavanandaji, he did the same thing. He demonstrated it in his life from announce his coming as Lord Shiva and he left his body as, 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 as his own will. And he is convey the messages to the Swamiji's and I have to say I'm good recipient um, I'm a recipient of that that wisdom and so many Swamiji's the Twin teacher them and devotees. So have no fear but make sure that you're moving steadily to your path to moksha and liberation. Let us look at the Shiva Lingam there over there and let us chant some uh, mantra. Guru Mantra Om Sri Guru Shivaya Nama 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 Well, have no fear, boy and I have no fear because fear is the greatest sin get rid of all fear and go to that place when you look back and into this manifested universe you laugh and say oh how stupid I was to be a victim to be a, a, a puppet in this lower manifestation of consciousness all of creation and lift yourself up come out of this and look back and say I have no merits or demerits everything that's happening in this manifest is earth here it has nothing to do with me I'm just an observer and then you'll see that you'll be free, free from all suffering Hari Om Shanti Shanti Hari Om have a beautiful day I'm sorry it's a little dark but you know this is what it is and we should accept everything as it is Hari Om Shanti Shanti Hari Om